Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have the latest Vogue issue for August. We have Dr. Joe Biden on the cover, our first lady. And she looks pretty. I love the dress. She looks very um, relaxed and comfortable. I love the dress though. I love, you know, I love me some floral. Very pretty dress. It looks um, casual, dressy, dressy casual. <laughs> like she looks relaxed enough in it, but then she can go ahead, throw some shoes on and go to dinner, you know? Have a nice night out in town with Joe. <laughs> okay, um, so we have a Van Cleef ad. This is this is really pretty. It's yellow gold. Look at this blue. That is beautiful. Okay, okay, LV. It's already starting off different, this Vogue issue. You know, every month, if you watch these videos for the Vogue look-throughs, you'll notice same ads, same ads, um, for issues in a row. And it just feels like you're looking at the same magazine issue every single month. It kind of feels like that. Um, Cause it's a lot of the same ads. You'll see a lot of the same models. So, Nice to finally see something, a different ad for Louis Vuitton. Um, interesting, I, I like the purse. These are both the same purse. Um, I love the boots too, very different and interesting boots. I uh, see it have like, it looks like a little buckle, but not quite a buckle. But interesting boots. I love the purse. Definitely love the purse. Can't say much for the jacket. <laughs> but um, hey, it's an interesting jacket to look at. Beautiful models, by the way, too. Look at that, look at that, uh, that, sh that face structure, the cheekbones. Wow, both of them. Um, so she has a little layered look over here. This looks like very much aluminum foil, but okay. I'm not a designer. I don't know nothing about designing clothes. And I would have loved to see these boots though. Um, I think they, I could see a little bit underneath this. Looks like they might go up to your knee. Um, love the bag. Beautiful models as well. I love the, the, the scenery too, I like the ad. Then we have Miss Santea, who literally looks beautiful doing anything. She, um, there was another Valentino ad. I forgot what issue. It was similar. I don't think it was the same one, but it was similar with Zendaya. She looks gorgeous. I love the purse. It's like studded and so are the shoes. The shoes aren't my thing, um, but the bag is pretty. The bag isn't necessarily my thing either, but I would, I would wear that, depending on where I'm going. And then she has, I don't know if that's a jacket or just a button down, but I love leopard. Love it, she looks beautiful. <gasps> oh, I just got a peek at that. <laughs> I saw nudes, uh, beige. Anyway, we'll get there. Uh, we have a Tiffany ad, a different Tiffany ad because I've been seeing the same ad for them too. I'm tired of seeing the same ads. Um, I see the ads for these bangles and these rings in every Vogue. Really pretty. I'm just tired of seeing it. <laughs> so this is nice. Um. Nice little necklace here. It is a very pretty necklace. The model's gorgeous too. Ah, Fendi. Oh my god. Just everything. Everything. Every single thing. Down to the hair clip. I love it all. All of it. Look at this. Look at these. Oh. 
the necklace with the matching earrings. I would love to see up close of the hair clips. I was about to go like this. <laughs> you know how you zoom in like like a, a Instagram photo or video on, on your phone? I was about to go like this. Oh my goodness. But I don't know if you can see, but it has the Fs. The Fendi. One is right and then one is uh, upside down. Oh my goodness. With the earrings. I'm wondering if it's a clip. Or if it's an earring they put in their hair, or vice versa. Um, it has a matching necklace. Beautiful. Oh. I say it all the time. I love nudes. I love beige. That, you know, the whole beige nude brown palette. Love. I love this whole outfit. I would wear every single thing she has on. Beautiful. Look at this. The bag is like the same texture as the jacket. And then there's like a scarf piece. I don't know where it's coming from because it is, it's not around her neck. And I don't know if it's attached to the jacket. Fendi's going to make me go to their website and look at stuff that I can't buy right now. <laughs> but I don't know where this scarf is coming from. I love it. But I love the fact that the bag is... Uh, the same like the same texture as the jacket and I love me a long new jacket this is beautiful I would love to see the whole outfit it looks like she has like a banjo top on but it's knitted and then I can't tell if she has a skirt that's the same texture or it looks like it's a skirt but everything is just flowing together that I don't know this doesn't even seem to be a full jacket. I don't even know, because look. Uh, I'm going to have to, I, I want to look it up. Even if I can't get it right now, I'm going to look it up. Because <laughs> I need to see it. I need to see it. Oh my goodness. There's even the stockings. Look at that. And look at these shoes. I love interesting shoes like this. It's like art. It's like wearable art. A nice statement piece. People see your shoes, they want to ask you about that. They want to talk about your shoes. Are they comfortable? Where did you get them from? All type of questions. I love these. Ugh. This just made my day. I love everything here too. The top, beautiful. Models, beautiful. But I love this. The top, this purse is. Oh, look at the snakeskin. See this snakeskin? Snakeskin. <laughs> I do love snakeskin too. But um, this bag is beautiful. Oh, that bag is beautiful. Even a little ring. Oh goodness. Yeah, every single piece. I love. I love a nice monochrome outfit too. We have an Omega watch ad. She is a top model. I don't know if I've ever heard of her. Alessandra Ambrosia. Ambrosio. She's um, Brazilian. And I guess the world's top model. One of the world's top models. I see this Roski ad almost every Vogue. <laughs> it's a very pretty ad. I'm kind of, I'm just kind of tired of seeing the same thing. I swear, if I look, Vogue is seven ninety nine. I think I paid t ten or twelve dollars for the year. I would not pay eight dollars for this. I would not pay eight dollars every month to see the same. And while they do have, you know, um, interviews and things like that, it's just like, oh my goodness, I'm tired of seeing the same ads. But anyway, we have a Chanel. Let's smell this Chanel person.
it smells amazing. <laughs> it smells amazing. Ah, that smells like money. <laughs> you wear this, you're gonna smell like money, honey. Uh, a 1.2 fluid ounce is $82. This smells good. It smells fresh and like clean, but not that, not that clean, clean. Like you just got out the shower soap smell. It just smells like a clean, like a nice, I don't know. It's, it smells great. Great. Yes. And it, it just has the right amount of kick to it. Where it's not overpowering or not overbearing or sometimes perfumes may smell good but you smell it and it has that kick that might irritate your nose and make you want to sneeze at least for me this is i could i could smell this all day it smells so good the biggest bottle they have is 6.8 fluid ounces and it's 222 dollars um i take it, it it will last you a while 6.8 fluid ounces and um, it's not a cheap perfume, so you you may not have to spray it all day. Like a, you know, like a body spray, you spray it all day. Um, so that I think that's worth it. That bottle may last you some time. So we yeah, have to go roll to get. Okay, so this is from their website. Editor, Vogue editors, um, they handpick some fashion, beauty, and home recommendations. I saw this ad in the last video. Um, it's not video. I saw this ad in the last Vogue, and I love these purses. Christian Dior. Um, very big purses. I love me a big purse. The only thing I hate about it is that I tend to overstuff it. Not even necessarily overstuff it, but I overpack if I have a big purse. I'm like, you know what? Let me bring this just in case. Let me bring this just in case. And then my bag is heavy and I'm like, why is my bag so heavy? And there's so much stuff in it, so. Bright idea. Change your makeup bag and your mindset with bold strokes of eye color. Okay. We have a retinol Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair. I don't know if I've seen this ad. It looks to be a new one. I know Neutrogena always has ads um, for something in Vogue. This one, I, I don't think I've seen this. They do always have like anti-wrinkle or collagen and retinol ads in Rogue. Then we have um, Secret. I just know this smells good. Coconut. I use Arm & Hammer. I like Arm & Hammer products. I don't really TMI. Um, it takes a lot for me to sweat and actually smell, you know what I mean? So, I really don't run through deodorants that fast, or, and I'm not picky, you know, some people can't wear, um, scented because it just clashes with their body chemistry, but, um, this says helps odor, helps stop odor before it starts, very interesting. I was gonna, um, just mention a deodorant, it's called Lumi. Lumi, I think with two E's. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But it's a deodorant that you can put anywhere on yourself. Um, and it's and it uh it stops the smell basically. Like you can use it for a you can put some on and it's supposed to stop the odor for like two days. Um so yeah. I just ordered some. Again, I don't I don't smell strong, but um, if my deodorants last me a long time, then that one should last me a very long time. It's called Lumi, though. If you want to check it out, we have a birth control ad that is in every Vogue issue.
and then we have this these little pages i love these little pages you can just find um small little products i'm just gonna look over it briefly there's so much going on on the page that i don't even want to look at it <laughs> i did mention this before it's called the blend jet absolutely highly recommend it if you um if you love smoothies if you love smoothies on a go if you love uh um <laughs> If you want a portable blender, if you go to the gym and maybe you want to make your shake right away, maybe you go into your car, you could just, th these things are portable, um, waterproof, so you can just put it right in the water. I put water in mine to close the top, sometimes water and soap, close the top and then blend it right up, cleans it right up, no problem. But I can make my shake in here, you charge it, see that little charger? port right there and make my shake in here I could drink it right out of that if I want to um, you know on the go you can take it with you doesn't need batteries just charge it I absolutely love it though highly recommend it um, I think I paid about $50 for it and and it's honestly one of the best investments that one of the best things I bought this year for sure I'm actually um, thinking about about buying more multitasking miracle oil huh. so we have a whole bunch of hair masks and oils and things like that I stick with very basic I don't I don't have like a, a, t a 20 step face routine. I like using oils. I love vitamin C oil and oils penetrate my skin. Um, I love vitamin C, vitamin E, almond oil. I stick with my oils. And when it comes to lotion, I use uh, Eucerin, which is very good. Here goes another skin. Don't let a lifetime of expressions re reveal your age. So I guess it uh, fights against, yeah, it says fights against formation of expression lines. Huh. Minimize visible expression lines, lift, tighten, and firm skin, smooth skin, and improve texture. That's very interesting. I wonder if that really works. You can just scan right here. I'll put it up so you guys can scan it if you want. <laughs> you can just scan it and check that out. I don't think I would be checking it out. If I remember, then I, I think I'll go and um, see what reviews say about it. But I'm not really big into a ton of skin products. These are... um electronic cigarettes right it's real tobacco with less odor and no ash well i guess that's something i think if i smoked cigarettes i would try something like that it does look sleeker people might think you're smoking a vape and judge you less <laughs> i know the cigarette smokers get uh constantly judged and it's so it's so funny because in New York there are people who smoke still. Um, you don't see a whole bunch of people walking down the street smoking, but there are people who smoke still. But it's like so it's becoming so taboo and so like, oh my god, you smoke cigarettes. But when I was living in Nashville, everyone was looking at me like, you don't smoke? I'm like, um, should I? <laughs> All right, Alexa, <laughs> messed up the flow. Um, yeah, so everyone in Nashville smoked. It doesn't matter what, you know, where you're at or what. If we're all outside and people are smoking, people will offer you a cigarette, you know? Um, and it's such a shock when you don't smoke. <laughs> but in New York, it's quite the opposite. 
Uncommon James. This is a cute ad. I would love to be on a boat somewhere this summer. I love the layered necklace look and I've been I've been wanting to um invest in a little bit of jewelry. I'm not really big on on jewelry, but um I do like the layered necklace look. I've never heard of Uncommon James. Cute ad though. The, uh, the doctor is in. Famously empathetic and free of pomp, Dr. Joe Biden is the hardworking, hard on her sleeve, everywhere at once first lady that America needs now. Absolutely gonna read this when I am done. It was a nice family photo. Uh, with her grandchildren. I'm like, I didn't realize they, is this all of their kids? <laughs> They're beautiful, wow. Ah, oh, look at, look at them. During the campaign, I felt so much anxiety from people. They were scared, she told me. When I travel around the country now, I feel as though people can breathe again. Cute little couple photo. This is at the Oval Office patio. Ah, oh, okay. So she's on. Um, Jill is wearing a Michael Kors set. I was gonna say the green is really pretty. It it just ties in with the scenery. This Michael Kors sweater and skirt. Don't know who the shoes are by. Another picture. That's nice. This woman's work. Gabriella Hurst, arrival at Chloe. That's an interesting jacket. Wow, look at this jacket. This is all um, an interview. Beautiful. Love it. I would love to see the rest of it. See how it has the cutouts here? Love to see the rest of the dress. Beautiful model. On their games. For American swimmer Simone Manuel, gymnast Sunisa Lee. And sprinter Noah Lyles, the Tokyo Olympics can compete can come sooner. Can't come soon enough. And Sneesa Lee actually won a gold. Very, very um exciting. I watched her throughout this year in the preliminaries. Um I miss I've been missing the actual Olympics. So I missed a lot of it, but that's okay. I'm going to go back and watch everything. I love the Olympics. I watched all the prelim preliminaries. And it was very exciting. By air, by land, and by sea. Passing the bar for Lee. Zoom workouts have given way to Tokyo travel plan. Wow. They were even doing Zoom workouts. <laughs> Beautiful. So this is Omar Sai. Omar Sai, sensational, stylish turn in the Netflix series. Lupin has made him more than a leading man of our moment. Um, I've been seeing Netflix loves to really push all of their stuff. I mean, rightly so. I guess it's their <laughs> it's their app. So, but I haven't got a chance to check out this show. But I've been seeing the name like crazy because every time I log into Netflix, they'll boom, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch it, and then I'll be like, no, I'm not watching it. And then 
this is how advertising works i know and then they keep on and they keep on and you're like you know what one day you're struggling to you know you're trying to figure out what to watch and you're like you know what i'm gonna check that out since you keep telling me to watch it and this is prada i already saw the prada logo here some prada gloves these are nice they have like a um a pocket here like a bag oh i love that and a, and a Prada knitted, knit trim jumpsuit. I love that. The color too is gorgeous. But um, let me pull this up. Look, it has like a little purse there. That's very convenient. Oh, look at this bag. A Marnie bag. You can get it at Marnie.com. This is actually a purse. That, that people wear I mean it does say Marnie.com but that's, that's a bit much wow look at this necklace it's by Marnie as well um, a magic mushroom but make it fashion <laughs> look at this oh I love that that's, that's pretty cool this knit top looks cool too. It's a bodysuit. I would like to see the whole, the whole thing. Then we have um, oh an LV clutch. I think this is LV's new thing. And a Kenzo oversized sweater. That's a beautiful sweater. And look at the, look at the hood part. Very interesting. I like this ad nice look at this valentino oh j valentino boots mm, not too much not too big of a fan they remind me of like crocodile skin but not in a good way jw anderson dress that's a very interesting dress and it looks like she's holding some up so it may very well drape down and then this is an Alexander McQueen knit dress. Whoa, is this a bag? It is. Wow. SR Studio. It resembles something out of a childhood toy box. Whoa. So we have a lot of knits. This almost looked like, um, at first, it looked like a uh, like she was wearing one of those little waist trainer things. It's a Bottega um, belt. That's interesting. And Bottega roller skates. I love this dress. Um, I love turtlenecks. I'm obsessed with turtlenecks when the weather gets cool um about 80 percent of the time i have a turtleneck on and whenever i can wear a turtleneck i take the opportunity to wear a turtleneck <laughs> but this is a dos de cabana dress i love it it's just very plain but um you can it could just be so versatile it's almost two thousand dollars that dress Everything over here is new, new. So this looks like it is Haley Bieber. She's wearing Alexander McQueen. Interesting jacket. Looks like a blazer slash bomber jacket. Thank you, Vogue, for doing something showing us a little bit something different i felt like i've been looking at the same vogue for the past three months Stella mccartney jacket that's a nice jacket i'm not too much into the bomber look but that's nice interesting play on prints 
these are actually Prada Long Johns. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I hate it all. <laughs> I hate all of it. Okay, this isn't fully on, so she has a blazer on, and then this is over it. I still hate it. I'm really... See the other one? Okay. I was like, okay, that's, that's interesting. This one, I think because the orange sleeves, I hate. I'm not a fan of orange. That's probably a big part of it. <laughs> I'm not a fan of, of orange. I don't think I'll own one piece of orange clothing. You never see my nails orange. You, orange is not my color. Don't, mm, yeah, it's definitely one of my least favorite colors. It's not even that it's ugly. It's one of my least favorite colors. So, I'm trying to see who the model is. She's beautiful. But um, it looks like she might have a whole spread. Or maybe an interview or no I don't know okay this is a cool look though that's a cool look rising to the occasion we have another interview I'm not sure who it um, who they're talking about Yeah, so whoever this is, I think has the interview. I do not know who, it is, who this is, unfortunately. I try to skim through. Um, to see who it is, but I have no idea. These shoes are cute little shoes. My feet will feel naked in these. Look at this, it's just one little strap. <laughs> One little tiny teeny strap. This is interesting. I wonder if this is a um, a jacket. Oh, the color is beautiful as well. I'm sorry, my light keeps reflecting, so I have to keep moving this up. So oh, sorry. Oh yes. This is nice. Everything looks nice. I love the prints. I love this. I know it's probably the one the mo one of the more plainer pieces here. <laughs> oh look at these shoes. Looks very uggish. Let's see what they are. Richter Glimaud Clog. The the little fur stuff remind me of Uggs. And this little um, I don't know if this is a blazer or this is a jacket. I was at first I thought it was two pieces, but it's not. This is a the jacket. This is the actual jacket. It's like plaid, then this abstract type art. It's a Stella Jean coat. It's one thousand one hundred and thirty two dollars. Not bad. I know that sounds bad, <laughs> but I I was expecting it to be a few thousand, two or three thousand to be honest. This bag is very interesting. Oh, look at these shoes. It looked a little like wooden. I don't know. Um, but this bag is interesting. Look at this. Like little flower. It looks like sort of like a bucket style bag. Interesting. Um, prints everywhere. I um, don't really like this print. This, this is a 
the font is so small. Studio 189. Studio 189 skirt. It's $275. I do not like that. Who is number five? Because I like this this top. Alejandra Alonzo sweater. It's $835. Okay. I think we're done here. Yeah, I don't think there's really much anymore. Oh, look at this Gucci bag. It's $2,400. While it's a very unique bag, it's not my style. I think if it was in a different style bag, I would, I would like it more. Nice little statement piece. Um, Alessandro Michelle had them printed in amazing classic monogram Jackie bags. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it's named after Jacqueline Kennedy. And of course, ready to whip. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> and then we have. We didn't see too many shampoo ads. Like they always have the Garnier ads and um, I forgot those shampoos, shampoo ads. We didn't see too many of those. Nice. Thank you, Vogue, for switching it up a little bit, at least for one month. <laughs> we have Last a Christian Dior. I love that. Leopard print bag, Christian Dior ad. And that's it. So that was a nice little um, Vogue issue. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I, I saw a lot of clothing that I liked. Um, a lot of things I'm going to go look up when I find the time. And I'm definitely going to read Joe Biden's interview. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take care of yourselves. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.